Hello guys and happy spooky season. Look how spooky I look right now. I'm, I'm, I'm living for this look. Um, it's spooky season. We're doing spooky glam today and a very, very, very dramatic spooky glam, might I add. Even more dramatic than any of the other spooky glam looks that I did. This is the most dramatic so far. This is so fun, so pretty. I am loving it. I am just very happy to be wearing this just around my general life. I have to go to Tesco's. Oh. Okay, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I have to go to Tesco's with this look on. That's fun, okay. Um, I'll be wearing a mask, so it'll be like this much of me. That's fine, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, this is gonna be a spooky glam look. I think it's really fun. It's a fun sort of look if you are going to say like a work Halloween party and you wanna do up your eyes a little more than you normally would. Um, you don't have to use elements of the whole look. You can literally just pick and choose bits that you wanna do. You could just do the webs, you could just do the lip, you could just do the eye colors. I'll put it all together like I did and do something very extreme. So yeah, if you wanna see any up close pictures of this look, my Instagram will be linked down below. I always post pictures of the looks a couple of days after the video goes up so you can learn how to do it and also see the details up close on my Instagram. And also don't forget to subscribe down below. Blah, blah, blah. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below to see more videos, to see more of my spooky, spooky videos and also to help me get to my 2000 subscribers goal by the end of the year. I'm saying it in every video because I'm just trying to get there. Um, yeah, so if you do that, it will help me. I'll be much appreciative of that. I will love you forever. So yeah, I think that's it. And let's get on to the spooky video. Okay guys, so let's get in to our super spooky final, I think this is the final Halloween glam look that I'm gonna do, like the spooky glam. Um, and then I've got one more costume coming up. So I'm very excited and I'm kind of going for like, like webs, that kind of thing, cobwebby kind of things, dark lip, obviously, because, you know, I mean, who else would I be if I didn't do a dark lip? Um, we're gonna go very dramatic on the eye, maybe a bit of glitter as well, we'll see. I already have a bit of skin on, I don't have my under eye concealer on in case I get any fall down from glitter, and I've already got my brows on, my primer on, I'll have that all listed down below. So let's get into this look. We're gonna use a mix of products, a mix of brands, I might use a bit of M -M -M Mitchell palette, I'm gonna use a bit of Kaleidos, I think. I've got some Make Geek shadows here as well, um, which I'm probably gonna start with, and yeah just a nice little mix of things to use so let's get into it so i'm gonna start with my lavender look set from bh cosmetics the brush set and i'm gonna use the brush number five the biggest fluffy brush i think yes it is the biggest fluffy brush and i'm actually going to start with this shade here which is vintage this one up here i'm gonna take a little bit of that and that's gonna go into the crease first. This look, as I do it on myself, is probably not gonna be for the faint-hearted, let me just say that. Um, it's not a very natural sort of look, but you can always just tone it down by taking elements away, like don't do the glitter. Um, you know, don't blend up as high as I do. I'm bringing this right up there because that's the way I like my shadow to sit. I do want to purple that up just a little bit more, so I'm going to take this shade here, which is Hopscotch from Makeup Geek, the very light kind of lavender sort of shade. I'm taking this on a number eight brush from the same set, the lavender look set, and I'm only really just going to sweep this over where I've applied that other one, just to give, it's not going to be like crazy purple, but just to give it a little bit more of that purple rather than like a neutral muted mauvey sort of colour. Okay so then I'm gonna go in with an even smaller little skinnier brush. This is the number six brush so it's just very thin but still rounded and um, we're gonna take the shade what is it called taboo which is like a super super dark aubergine sort of shade and that's just gonna go in to deepen the look. Now I do have purples in the M -M -M Mitchell palette um that I might use um, if I want to purpley up a little bit more, but I'm going to just do my darkness now and then I can use some of the other shades to deepen it or to amp it up a little bit more. But let's just take a little bit of that shade Taboo and that's just going to go on the outer corner. Really build that up. We do want it to be quite dramatic. I do have a black here as well if I want to deepen up more, but I might not need to. We'll see. Bring it right in to the crease. And then just build it up as much as we need to. 
I'm just gonna go back in with that number eight brush, the one that I use for the very pale lilac shade. I'm gonna take this shade, I'll just try and show you here, Morgan, which is the super, super bright purple. Um, I just want a little, little smidge of that just to also brighten it up a little bit. I'm literally just taking like a dab and we'll just go in just around the edges as well, almost to help that dark shade blend. Like I kind of know the color that I want, but I have to kind of get there. I don't, it's it's hard to explain. Okay, I'm gonna leave the black out for a few minutes. I may go in and add it um, as I need to, but I think I'm gonna do a little bit on the lid now. So for the lid, let me get my glitter primer. I'm just gonna use my NYX glitter primer. I'm just gonna do one eye at a time. And I'm gonna use my Kaleido Cyber Bronze palette because I wanna use the shimmery red that's in that. I'm just taking a little bit of that out and don't know if I'm gonna do a cookie because I'm gonna put glitter on it anyway, so I don't really know if it's gonna to make too much of a difference. Um, I might just put it on in a cookie kind of shape, and then we can go from there. I don't really feel like cookie is the way I want to go with this, but it might be nice. So I'm just gonna put the glitter primer on as if I was doing a cookie. I'm just gonna use it to take away a bit of the shadow that's on the lid. And I'm doing one eye at a time, so I'm gonna go straight in with that same brush. We're gonna go into infrared, which is the shimmery red in this palette. Sadly, there's no shimmery red in the Mamma Mitchell palette, which I think would definitely be really cool if they did have one. And that is just gonna go all over where we applied that glitter primer. Just really get it on there. So then once you have that on, and I'm loving that colour, it's so pretty, um, I'm going to go back in with my brush that I use with the darkest purple on it, take a little bit more of that shade as well, and we'll just dab over where it meets the red. Just get a nice blend in between the two, just going. You can always go back in with some more red if you want to. Who needs concealer to do a cook crease? Look at that, that's pretty, that's actually better than I normally do in a cook crease. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm, I don't know if I want to do any glitter on that because that's really shiny and I really like how it looks. <laughs> I'm so tempted to just leave it as it is. I think I might leave the glitter off, but I may add a little bit of the black. So I'm going to go in with the shade Corrupt. And I'm going to take a small bit of that on that same brush that we use for the deepest purple. Just a little dab of it here and there. And we're just going to go right in to the outer corner here. Almost where like your wing liner is probably going to start winging out from there. And just go in and kind of wiggle it through. We don't need to be too heavy with it. I just need it to deepen just a little bit more. Yep, yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm going to leave out the glitter for now anyway. I can always add, add it towards the end um, before I do like liner and stuff like that. But what I'm going to do now is tidy up my under eyes, do a little bit of under eye concealer and we'll come back we'll do a lower lash line which is going to be a little bit interesting as well because i'm going to kind of do a bit of, a bit backwards and it's gonna be weird but sure look we're gonna like it aren't we yes so we'll be back in a sec okay so i have my under eye concealer on and what i'm going to do now is work on my lower lash line so the way i want to do my lower lash line is on the inner half of my lower lash line do the purpley dark tones maybe not the black but definitely the purpley tones and on the outer corner i'm going to do the red which i know is a shimmer it's a bit weird but it's gonna look cool, I think. Anyway, I have actually worn a very similar look to this. Um, this is one that I wore for Halloween last year um, into work on actual Halloween day because Halloween, my Halloween like night out was the weekend beforehand, but whatever. Um, so I do kind of know how this is gonna turn out, but I'm just, you know, whatever. Um, so let's work on the lower lash line. So let's go back into our purples. And I've got this little brush here, also from the Lavender Look set, which is a number 10. It's a small little pencil-y style brush. There's like fluff stuck to it, so I'll get that off. Um, I'm, I'm gonna start with the shade Vintage, the more kind of um, grungy sort of purpley tone. Taking a little bit of that, and we're gonna work that on the inner half of the lower lash line. Bring it in as much as you want. Just making sure that you're halfway and don't really go any further than that and just build it in and really smoke that out okay so then i'm going to take the same dark purple that we use which is taboo and i don't know if that's focusing on my face there we go and um, i'm going to take taboo on that same brush and we'll just run that also on that inner lower lash line 
just makes it a little bit interesting having a different kind of lower lash line than the top i don't know i just i feel like it. i did a face chart of it and it looks cool so yeah and um, the only difference is the red is all matte on my face chart and then i've got glitter on top of the lid but on this obviously the red is going to be shimmery although i could just do a matte red actually yeah we'll just do a matte red don't know why i'm trying to use just one when i've got my entire collection here that i can just go through then I'm gonna go in with the shade Hopscotch, which is that light purple on that same brush. I'm kind of just gonna use this brush, I think, unless I need a bigger fluffy brush, but I think this should be fine. I'm just gonna run that tiny bit along the edge. Just We're just gonna kind of match the purples that's on top. Blow that down as much as you want. I'm going down quite far. <laughs> Then I'm going to go back into the Mama Mitchell palette and I'm going to take the shade Morgan, which is that super bright purple that we use just because I used it on top and it'll match. Just taking a tiny little dab of it and then just running that just a little bit over the eye. Yeah, I'm liking that. It looks so weird just having your inner part of your lower lash line in the big gap. So now what I'm going to do is take another smaller brush. This is just my MAC 214 brush. And we're going to go back into the Mama Mitchell palette again. And I'm going to take the shade M -M -M Mad. This one here, the super, super bright red. There is a deeper red and a kind of burgundy in here as well. So if I need to darken a little bit, I probably will use them. Um, and if I want, I can put a bit of the sh shimmer on top. But I don't know if I want to yet. So we'll just leave it at that. Um, I'm going to take that and we're going to run that just on the outer part here. Just in that little gap, make sure you connect it to the purple. And you don't want it to be too pink. You do want to match this red as much as you can. Then taking a base shadow brush from Real Techniques, taking a tiny bit of that same per same red, just on the very, very tip of it, just a small little bit. And we're just going to use that to blow out the edge of the red. I'm going to take that same 214 brush that we used at the beginning and I'm just going to go in with this one. Yes, we're going to go in with Muse, which is a little bit more reddish than the... Um, Mad Ma Man Made, Man Made. Um, so we're gonna go in with Muse, just just a tiny little bit. I only want a little bit, just in my lashes, just to deepen it up a tiny little bit. But I don't want to take the red away. So if it does look a bit much of like too dark, and I took the red away, I'll just add a bit more red. Okay, so I've decided kind of glitter, but kind of not glitter. So this was the one I was gonna use. This is like a copper. What is it called? raining riches glitter it's like a copper glitter but i just think it's too copper and it's too chunky for what i want i don't want to cover the red i think the red is beautiful but i do have this one which is reflex red from mac Th that other one was from mac as well this one is quite transparent just reflects red and um, it's very fine it's almost like a pigment and i don't even need a glitter primer as far as i can remember from using it before so i'm just going to use the brush that i used with the shimmery red on it there should be a tiny little bit of uh, the glitter primer still on it and we'll just press this on top of that red again we're not really looking to cover it's just to give a little bit of a sparkle over top i'm also going to take a tiny little dab of that same glitter just on the very tip of the brush and just pop a tiny little bit of it just over that red on the outer part here don't even want it to look like it's a glitter i just want there to be a bit of, a bit of sparkle down there I'm also taking some of that glitter again and we're going to take it with the flat brush that we used the red on, the one I've been using with the glitter. And I'm going to use that on the inner corner. If some of the red pigment from the actual shadow gets on my inner corner, I don't really mind. So that's why I want to use this brush and not a clean one. Um, so we're just going to stamp it in and just see what happens. Because it'll just give that nice inner corner highlight but without being too light. I'm loving it, I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. So now I'm gonna go in with some waterline action and we're gonna use a Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade zero, just a black because I wanna do a black liner on top. And I think black will really ground everything in this look. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of liner and then we can work on a few more details. So let me do this. I'm not gonna film, I don't think, but I'll just get a bit of liner on and we can work from there. Okay, so I popped on my liner. I did a little bit of an inner corner kind of point with my liner. Um, yeah, and it should be 
pretty cute i think once we have everything on so now what i'm going to do is also go back to the liner that i used which is my kvd vegan beauty tattoo liner and um, i used that i was going to use my mac brush black but it actually ran out as i was doing this so i have to get a new one and um, so this is basically the same sort of thing so I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit more, a bit more up close and personal. Um, and we're gonna do a cobweb from my liner, from like the wings on my liner, and then I'll do one on like one eye or something like that maybe. Um, but we're gonna start at the base. I'm just gonna draw a line out in like a parallel to it, but slightly more down, like almost like a small V shape. We'll do another one bit lower again and I'm gonna do one more since you have like that sort of shape you can even see I'm not sure I'm gonna be googly eyed because I'm looking sideways on my face <laughs> and then I'm gonna do like little C shapes from the wing so something like that my eyes are gone all funny because I keep looking sideways um, yeah, and that's kind of cute. I do like that. So I'm going to try and do the same on the other side um, and I'm going to draw one as well. I'll actually do the one in the front here while I'm on camera. So I'm going to draw a line at the base of my brow. If you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Just here. About that much. Just draw one straight in. I don't really mind how perfect it is, just once it's kind of on there. So like a like an L shape. And then we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to go from the corner. Bring it out. So just like that. And then again, our little C shapes and that'll connect everything. Very cute. I like it. You can add glitter, you can add rhinestones if you want to. I don't want to because I I feel like I've already got enough going on. Um, so let's do the other side. Okay, so I have that all on. I'm very happy with how that looks. Yes, it's a bit asymmetrical because I've only got one cobweb in here, but I kind of like how that looks. I think it looks kind of cute. And um, this one is not the best of wings, of webs. This one is a lot better, so I'll probably take a lot of my pictures from this side. Um, so let me go pop on my lashes. I'll do a little bit of powder on my face because I definitely need to. My face keeps transferring onto my hands while I'm doing this. Look at my nail. That's just all foundation. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm gonna jump off, I'm gonna do that and I'll come back, we can do a bit of skin and a lip at the end. Okay guys, so I did finish off the whole face because I actually had to redo my skin, it started to actually patch up and I still, I just put the same foundation back on again, I don't know why, I think I made a, may have left it too long and with it transferring onto my hands it was just going all patchy so I just redid my skin. <laughs> Um, and I just continued on with my skin because I was just in that kind of mood and my camera had to charge anyway, so I might as well. Anyway, let me quickly go through everything that I popped onto my face. So as far as my eyes, I did all my liner and everything. My mascara was my Essence Big, Get Big Lashes, that one there. I'm actually really liking it. And then my lashes are the House of Lashes Noir Fairy Black. They're super, super thick and dense but kind of spiky on the ends and they really wing the eye out so I thought it would be perfect to go with this super bumpy kind of eye and then on my cheeks I used my MAC Next to Skin blush and um, this is my contour it looks almost similar to my skin but it does actually contour my cheeks and then as far as my actual blush goes I use my Benefit Cheek Parade and I use the shade Rockateur um, which you can buy individually, I just have it in a palette so you can get it on its own. And then for my highlight, I used my Wet n Wild Mega Glow in the shade Blossom Glow, which is kind of like a pinky colour, which I think works really well with the eye. And then for my lip, I was going to do black. I was going to do Caviar Liquid Lip and this almost looks black, but it's not. It is... Um, Uniformly Fabulous from MAC, it's one of their liquid lipsticks. It's very, very dark, vampy plum, but in some lights it can look a little bit black. Right now it looks very dark plum. So yeah, just depends on what way you're wearing it. So that is everything that is on my face. Okay guys, I hope you all enjoyed this look. I am loving it. I, like I said, I have worn this sort of look before, 
very 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 similar to this look um as like a work halloween kind of day thing and i loved it and i wanted to do it again and i would wear it all the time and these lashes for how thick they are and how thick the band is are extremely comfortable more comfortable than other ones that i've had on with a thinner band which is very weird um i'm loving how this turns out i love my necklace which is actually from walmart in new york um yeah is it or Florida, I'm not sure. Um, I got it, my mom got it for me in America. And she usually goes to New York or Florida, so. <laughs> and I have it a couple of years, so that's where that's from. Um, I'm loving this look. I feel super, super cool. My spooky background is over there, with my spooky witchy legs. Um, and yeah, I've been loving it. And I've been loving doing these spooky season, glam, spooky glam kind of looks. And they're just so much fun, I really like it. I am gonna be filming after this video a Halloween question tag. I have a big tag. I think I might have done it already um, in one of my Halloween looks I did, not last year, the year before last, but I want to do it again. I feel like doing it again. I'm going to answer the questions again and maybe my answers are going to be different. Who knows? Um, so that's what I'm going to film after this, so stay tuned for that. I was going to do it in this video, but I thought it'll just take too long and I'll be too distracted then. So let me just do it on its own with a spooky look on. I think that'd be fun. So stay tuned for that. So hit subscribe down below to see that coming up at some point it could be up before this video it could be up after this video i'm not sure if it's up before this video i'll link it down below and up in the cards if it's up after the video then if you're subscribed you'll see it come up so yeah hit thumbs up down below if you did like all my spooky season spooky glam kind of looks because i'm loving them i'm in my element doing these looks i love it and also leave me a comment down below let me know would you wear this look to work if it was a spooky theme day it doesn't have to be all of it you could get rid of the lip and just do the eyes do some sort of a nude lip um or would you just do like say a more softer eye with just the cobwebs and which i actually ooh, that's a good idea oh that could be a look for next year mm, i'll write that on the list um and the dark lip so yeah my eyes look so blue with the red on i'm loving it loving it so yeah if you hit subscribe down below, you will help me get to my 2000 subscribers by the end of the year goal that I have set for myself. Um, I'm hoping to get there. So if you do, I will be much appreciative of that. And also if you want to see any up close pictures of this look, see it all up close. I'll have up close pictures of the eyes, the lips, everything. And then my Instagram is linked down below. Go follow that. The pictures do go up a day or two after the actual video goes up. Um, it depends on generally when it goes up I usually do the eye pictures then the face pictures whichever way it goes up so yeah if you're following that you will get to see those so yeah I will see you in the next video guys for our last costume look which is very very fun Ooh.